Hi guys, happy, it's Monday. Happy Monday, how are you? Happy Monday. My brain is all over the place, good Lord. Okay, we need to start over. <laughs> Happy Monday, how are you? We're gonna make some pumpkin bread. Um, we're gonna keep going with the pumpkin theme here um, because y'all really like pumpkin recipes. Um, I'm running out of ideas, so if there's anything else that you have not seen me make that is pumpkin, that kind of goes along with um, you know the season, and you would like for me to make it on live video, um, you can just comment below and let me know what that is that you want to make. So far, we've made pumpkin spice lattes together. We have made pumpkin fluff. I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff we've made. Today, we're going to do pumpkin bread, and I have not made this probably... I think I might have made it last year, maybe only once, and I don't know why, because this is literally the best ever. It's so moist, it's so good, it, you cannot tell that it's low carb, and it is absolutely delicious. So say hello when you're hopping on like Teresa just did, um, because we're not strangers here. We are friends, and uh, friends talk to each other, so say hi. This makes it a lot more fun when you guys talk back to me, so I don't feel like I'm talking to my phone all by myself. It's just not good. Thanks, Heather. How are you? I like to talk back to you guys. Hey, Jenny. Um, let me know what's going on in your world. Um, it is definitely feeling like fall, um, and I'm obsessed with all of these recipes that I've been sharing. By the way, if you're brand new, comment new. Um, I like to go live at least a couple of times a week with some recipes. I also share a lot of um, good content like that on my page, so make sure you're following. Um, because I do share recipes throughout the week. Um, and so if you're new to your health journey, you're looking for like, um, you know, some good, uh, good food that doesn't taste like rabbit food, um, then you're in the right place. Um, you can comment the word guide and I will send over some free tips to you. I do have some, some ideas to get you started on your health journey if you're newer and maybe you do need that help. If you are watching on TikTok though, make sure you follow me over on Facebook or Instagram and then message me on one of those platforms. My link is in the bio. Um, so if you just go there, the comments on TikTok go away so it makes it really hard um, for me. But yeah, Heather, message me on TikTok or Instagram and uh, we will hook you up. Okay, so pumpkin bread. This is um, just as good. Um, I think for breakfast, dessert, whatever, make it and take it to like a family function and see what they say. Don't tell them it's low carb though, because I love getting that reaction. A lot of my recipes that I make, people will always ask me. It's so funny. We go to church and they're like, is this low carb? And I have to laugh because the fact that they have to ask, I'm like, why, why does it matter? Um, so, you know, maybe you can uh, do that. Hey, Megan. Hey, Lori. Hello, Teresa, Bonnie, and Gwen. Glad you're here. Thank you for sharing. Do me a favor, guys, and do like Megan and uh, share out the video. And Sophie, do you want to say hi? Sophie, is, um, she's here, but not here. I think she doesn't want to be on camera. You don't want to be on camera? No? She just, she, she wants to be here, but not. Um, you don't want to? Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, so if you're watching on Facebook, the full recipe is actually in the description of the video. So if you share it to your page, you will have it. If you're hearing lots of noises, I'm doing, um, the dishwasher's going, we're cooking dinner, we're doing all the things. Um, so we got a lot going on around here. All right, what you're going to need for this recipe is your favorite version of like a lower carb sweetener. Um, I'm using monk fruit by Lakanto. Um, there's a lot of different brands out there. This one is usually pretty common. You can pretty much find it anywhere. Um, even TJ Maxx sometimes will sell this. So you're going to need that. For your flour, you're going to need coconut flour. You're also going to need some almond flour. And yes, there is a difference. Coconut flour is much finer. Um, and it smells like you're at the beach. Um, can you get her off the table? She's like, I don't know what her deal is. Um, you're also going to need some baking powder. We're going to use just a little bit of that. Some pumpkin pie spice and some salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Um, you will need four eggs. We're going to beat those up in just a minute. Um, you're going to need a third cup of butter melted. Um, and so I have mine right here in the bowl. I've just melted that. And then you're going to need a um, three-quarter cup of pumpkin puree. So what we're going to do now, I've got my oven preheated to 325 degrees. Um, the coconut flour does not taste like coconut. It smells really good, but it does not taste like coconut. Um, and I love whenever you, so I find that recipes that have just almond flour, they're a lot more grainy. Um, 
the coconut flour absorbs moisture better. Um, so I love making recipes that have both of them in there so it doesn't feel as gritty of that texture. I really like, and I find that that's what a lot of people have a hard time with whenever they switch over to like a lower carb um, recipe because they miss like the soft, moist, instead of like that falling apart kind of feel. Coconut flour is definitely um, something that I recommend, especially if you are, um, um, you're not allergic. So um, yeah, you tried coconut oil and it was awful. What? Do you not like coconut, Heather? Um, you won't be able to taste it. It won't taste like coconut. This is gonna taste like pumpkin, okay? All right, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna have the oven preheated 325 degrees. I'm gonna be using a loaf pan because this is gonna be like a bread. Um, and then I'm actually gonna line that loaf pan with parchment paper. So um, if you don't have that, it is not the same thing as wax paper. Do not put wax paper in the oven. That is, would not be good. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our dry ingredients in a bowl and then we're gonna do our wet ingredients in a bowl. Welcome Karen, hi Nadine, hello Debbie. If you guys are new, say hi as you're on. Go ahead and comment the word guide and I'll send over some tips to you to get you started. She bit you. Were you messing with her? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and do our dry ingredients. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, three quarter cup of the sweetener. So let's see, that one. Three quarter cup sweetener. So one, two, three. All right, so that's three quarter cup. I'm gonna have to buy some more sweetener, y'all. Um, next, we're going to put in two cups of um, almond flour. Hi, Lisa. So, I'll kind of show you. This is like almond flour. You can kind of see it's a little bit more grainy. You're going to need two cups of that. Now, if you're new here, um, I've been on a health journey for close to four years now, and I have been sharing my recipes um, for about almost amount, that amount of time. We're gonna do um, a half a cup of the coconut flour. Um, about, about that amount of time, I would say. Um, and um, I love it because, you know, whenever I first started, there was all of like this, um, I felt like I was gonna have to like starve myself or I was not gonna be able to enjoy like the stuff that I really, really like. So we're gonna do a half a cup. So this is a quarter cup, so I'm gonna do one and two. So I made it my mission to find recipes that were not only filling and something that my whole family would love, um, but they were also healthy. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, again, comment the word guide if you're new here, um, and then I'll send over those tips to you. Um, Cause I know what it's like whenever you live like a super busy lifestyle, and um, you're like, but I don't know what, you need some help. So I, I got you. Um, comment the word guide. So we're gonna do two, two teaspoons of baking powder. One and two. Next we're gonna put in our seasonings. We're gonna do pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna do two teaspoons of that. Hi Sherry, welcome Barb. Hello Fonda, how are you? So two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one, and two. Next, we're gonna do some pink salt. You don't have to use pink salt. I prefer it. It's a better um, source of electrolytes um, than regular iodized salt. So um, you can actually get this from pretty much any any store. Um, even a dollar store has started to carry this now. All right, we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of that. Ta-da! And I think that's all of our dry ingredients. We're gonna mix those together, and then we're gonna do the wet ingredients. And I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. All right, so let's mix that together. Really, the idea here is just to get out the clumps, okay? Um, sometimes you'll see that there's in the almond flour, the baking powder, even in the coconut flour, there will be some clumps. Um, and you don't have to be like perfect with it, but just try your best to kind of mix it really well together and get some of those clumps mixed. Oh, mixed what? out of there. I'm making a mess for yourself. All right, I think we're good. What you think, bud? Do you think we're good? I don't know. Does it look like any more clumps in there? Not really. No, I think we're good. I'm making messes here. All right, we're gonna set that to the side. Dang. And then we're gonna do wet ingredients. 
Um, I used sherry, almond, and coconut. We did, um, let me see, a half a cup of coconut and two cups of almond. So both of them gives it a really good texture. Now we're gonna do our eggs, butter, and pumpkin in another bowl. Um, I'm gonna use this one. So we've got um, here, this is the third cup of melted butter. Oh, you wanted to do it? I'm sorry, you wanna crack the eggs in here? How many? Um, four. Actually, put the eggs in here because we're gonna have to beat those separately. Um, so Sophie's gonna crack four eggs for me in this bowl. This is how much eggs I eat. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna do, so I got the butter, we're gonna do three quarter cup of pumpkin puree. Pumpkin puree. This. Is that the one you're gonna Yeah, this is the one I had. Let's see. I thought it was called pumpkin puree. Puree. But there's an extra E on it. It always says pure. No, it's, it's puree. Why does it say P? Oh, that's pure pumpkin, yeah. Puree just basically means that it was, um, it's, it's softened down. It's not solid. All right, so there's one. And our pumpkin smash. Yeah. Porch. Yeah, we did, we decorated our, pump, or carved our pumpkin last, um, last, uh, Monday night. So literally a week ago. No, oh, that thing is already mush. Like, what is going on with the pumpkins? All right, so that's two. These look yellow. And then we're gonna do one look, more of these. They look yellow. Yeah. yellow. You want them really yellow. That actually means that they're better. Oh. You wanna beat those together for me? There you go. Bah! You said beat them. All right, whip them up for me. Welcome. Yeah. Um, uh, welcome, Rick. Hey, Bridget. Hi, Dina. You would like some low carb um, pumpkin pie recipe? Awesome sauce. So this is gonna be a pumpkin bread, um, and it is delicious. I like eating this like for dessert. You can have it for um, like breakfast if you want. It's so good. Come by me I don't know, babe. I don't know. Got it? All right, now Sophie's going to pour in. So we've got a third cup of butter, um, three quarter cup of pumpkin puree, and then she's going to throw in the, um, the eggs. four beaten eggs. Do you want to mix this or do you want me to do it? I can do it, I guess. You want to do it? Okay. So she's going to put that together. Um, if you put Vaseline all over, it will look longer and shiny. Sherry, I'm telling you, like it is like mush it um so ronnie put it on like the on the porch and it's like fallen over like it legit it's just nasty looking um which side note um i was taking out um like cleaning up the kitchen when i got home earlier and um you know just cleaning up and stuff last night we spent a lot of time yesterday um cleaning girls rooms we got full-size beds for them um because you know they're big girls now so we got we got bed frames and new beds We're both for them. Teenagers. Um, but we I wanted to do a, like a really good deep clean in their bedrooms last night. So legit all day yesterday. So I did not clean up the kitchen last night. Mom. Yeah, I didn't. Um, so I needed to do that this afternoon. So um, I'm in South Carolina. Where are you from? Okay. So um, I was taking out scraps because we live in the woods, y'all. So like we can do stuff like this. I don't know what you do if you live in the city. I don't know how that works. Um, but I was taking, y'all, I fell up the steps and dropped my crock pot and broke it. I shattered it into a million pieces. And the thing is, I've had that crock pot since Ronnie and I got married. Like, it was a wedding gift. Um, oh. That's 17 years old. Ronnie goes, it's fine. We can just get a new crock pot. We've had it for forever. I'm like, yeah, but it's supposed to last forever. And clearly they don't. Um, what's the carb count? Barbara, I don't do macros, so I personally don't track. That's why I love this lifestyle so much. Um, I literally just kind of stick to the list of things that are lower carb slash lazy keto, and it's worked for me. Um, however, if you do want macros, if you go to, um, if you go to very well fit, I'm like Google it very well fit. There is a macros calculator. So what it'll do is if you put in the full recipe, um, and then divide up how many servings you want. It will give you the breakdown for macros. I personally don't do that. I just live a very, very busy lifestyle. So it just doesn't, um, 
it just that that just doesn't work for me. All right, is that good? All right, so soap has got that all mixed up. I've been had it mixed up. There we are. Um, and then we're just going to we're going to add the wet ingredients to the Karen's dry ingredients. Here. Karen's here. Your mother is here. Yep, she sure is. You say hi to Granny. Hello, Karen. Do you want to mix this together? So this what I'm putting in here looks kind of like baby food, but trust me, it's going to be delicious. Growers. All right. So what you're going to do, Bob, is um. All right, be careful, don't get it all over the place now. So we're mixing in um, the wet into the dry ingredients. And yes, you are very welcome. Now I'm gonna go throw this in the trash before it gets all over the floor. Um, she's grainy to you. Grainy. She yep, is. grainy, grainy. Girl, grainy is here. Got it? Granny. While and she's Riley mixing that up, we're going to get the, uh, this together. Riley was in the back. You're eating thing. unhealthy tonight, but you're tired. You're just gone from work. What you eating, Tara Lynn? Some days it'd be like that. That's why we drink ketones, right? Get you right back into ketosis and I don't have to worry about it. Do the girls like the food? Yeah, absolutely. Not really. Sophie is my pickier one. Riley will eat just about anything. I used to eat anything. Yeah, she. I mean, Riley was she the was one. Megan is saying hi. Pizza. All right. Um. You want my help? No, I can't. Why does everybody know my name? Hmm. Why does everybody know my name? Cause I talk about you all the time. Cause I love you so much. No, you hate me so much. Oh, that is not true. You better stop. Oh, can you, do it? you want me to do it? Alright, she almost got it, y'all. Just about. I'm getting some tea. I don't want to be on camera, so I'm gonna come. Okay, that's fine. But then it's gonna show me too. So we're just gonna mix this really well. It's gonna form like a it's gonna look sort of stiff. It's not gonna be like a um like runny. It's not gonna be runny at all. Okay, now remember what I said about the coconut flour if you guys just hopped on. Coconut flour is really good at absorbing moisture, um, and so that's kind of what's happening here. Um, but it's going to give you such a great texture whenever it comes out of the oven. So what we'll do is we're going to bake this um, for about an hour. Mom, what? I'm sorry. Now most of my recipes, keep in mind, she's been playing with the cat, y'all. Um, most of my recipes do not take that long. This is an extra special one, which is probably why I only made it once last year. But trust me, it is worth it if you have the time um, to make it. I don't know why I'm making such a mess here. Yeah, you always make so. Sophie, watch your mouth. I'm just playing. There's, there's a time whenever you play, and then there's a time whenever it's borderline disrespectful. Sorry. So what's everyone else having for dinner? I like to do this because I like to give people ideas. So tell us in the comments below, what are you eating for dinner? That way when someone else is watching, because y'all know your brains are tired just like mine, and this is like a little idea exchange. So whenever you share those ideas. Oh, you can also add nuts to this, like walnuts are really good in this recipe. Um, I don't know if I have any. Um, I'm not going to add any to this recipe, but you totally can add, um, like, chocolate chips or walnuts or something um, if you want. All right, so that's the texture of the dough, okay? And we're just going to plop it down into this uh, parchment paper. So we got tacos, taco. Look at there. Y'all having Taco Tuesday on a Monday night. So taco soup. Oh, Sherry, we had chili um, Saturday. We, had, we, we made chili on Saturday mm -hmm. night. Yeah, you didn't eat any. All right, we're gonna, oh, I totally got some. Y'all see that right there? Did not mix that part very well. Yeah. Got stuck on the bottom. Hey, Ryan, you wanna say hi to everybody? Hi. Huh? Hi. Can y'all hear her? She's, she did say hi. So in case you missed it, um, Riley is my 16 year old that is not fond of being in front of the camera. And then Sophie is my 11 year old that certainly does not mind. She is my social butterfly. I don't really care. Today. 
Yeah, I'm just saying, I don't really care about being on camera. Yeah, it doesn't stuff? bother you. Yeah, that's done. Okay. Yeah, but wow, there's just a crap. All right, y'all. This is it. Now, there is one extra step that I won't be able to make on live video because I'm going to do it after this comes out of the oven. But it is in um, the description. And She's that is... Oh, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. I'll put the finished product in my stories so y'all can see it. But um, it's the drizzle, so it's got you got to make the drizzle. That's going to be what is going to set this recipe off. Okay, um, it's going to use uh, you use like a confectioner sweetener, and if you don't have confectioners, you can always blend this in a blender, and it will turn into confectioner. So don't stress out about that. So powdered sweetener, um, butter. You're gonna need some heavy cream and then a little bit of vanilla. And then you mix that together and pour it over the top. I have the actual um, recipe to that drizzle there and you can actually make that for a lot of other things. It's really, really good. But this is what it looks like. Whenever it comes out of the oven, remember this is gonna cook for about an hour. When it comes out, I'll put the final, like what it looks like in my stories. So watch my stories. Make sure you're following because again, I'll share like a ton of other recipes and stuff like that all of the time as well. Jennifer, this is pumpkin bread um, and it is low carb. It is the best and you're going to love it. And mom's saying, save me a piece and you know I will. So um, I hope you guys got some value out of this. I hope you, if you try it, all I ask is that you snap a photo send me a message go hey I tried it if you tweaked it a little bit because I know you will some of you like to do that you like to put chocolate chips or the nuts or you know you try something else if you do something else and you're like oh my gosh this was amazing tell me I want to know what you did to make it a little different like I just think it's so cool that's kind of like our different tastes and stuff it's so much fun uh Teresa you are going to love this I'm telling you it's amazing so um again yeah just take a picture tag me um also if you're brand new and you want some more tips and ideas um to help you out um starting with my uh guide go ahead and comment the word guide and I will hook a sister up okay um because I know what it's like to be busy got children got a job you got all the things going on and you probably don't have time to like look up and do all those things yourself let me help you out let's do this thing together okay um, I've been coaching and training and helping women for almost four years now on how they can live a healthier lifestyle um, and you my friends are in the right place um, I love you so much I hope you have a great day if you're watching on Facebook you can tap on the screen and three dots will pop up you can turn on live notifications send me a friend request and don't forget to follow if you're watching on any other platform make sure you go over Follow me everywhere. I do a podcast weekly. I also have recipes, all sorts of other fun things. Um, and uh, I know you're just going to love it. So stick around. And of course, as always, I will see you guys next time. Have a great night.